आखिर कौन नहीं चाहता भारत फिर से डेवलप्ड राष्ट्र बने आखिर कौन नहीं चाहता भारत फिर से अखंड राष्ट्र बने और आखिर कौन नहीं चाहता भारत फिर से विश्व गुरु भारत बने हम सब चाहते हैं हम सब चाहते हैं भारत फिर से सोने की चिड़िया कहलाए हम सब चाहते हैं भारत फिर से एक शिक्षा का केंद्र बने जहाँ पे देश विदेश सारे जगह के लोग पढ़ने के लिए आए करते हम सब चाहते हैं उतने इमोशन और उतने इंटेंसिटी से जितने कि मैं चाहता हूँ आप भी चाहते हैं मगर हमारे पास कोई विजन नहीं है कोई सॉलिड प्लान नहीं है कि कैसे भारत को टू में एक विकसित भारत बनाया जाए मैं कुंदन कुमार विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिटेल्ड ब्लू प्रिंट अबाउट विकसित भारत टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन आई हैव द सेवन एस फॉर्मूला बेस्ड ऑन दैट वी कैन मेक श्योरली इंडिया विकसित भारत इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन दिस सेवन एस आर सुरक्षित भारत सशक्त भारत समर्थ भारत शिक्षित भारत स्वस्थ भारत सुसंस्कृत भारत एंड स्वर्णिम भारत अगर हम इन सात फ्रंट पे भारत को डेवलप करें और भारत के लिए काम करना शुरू करें 150 करोड़ पॉपुलेशन विल स्टार्ट टू वर्क टू वर्ड ऑल दीज सेवन फ्रंट्स डे बाई डे नेक्स्ट 22 टू ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स श्योरली आई एम मच होपफुल एंड यू आर ऑल्सो मच होपफुल इंडिया विल बिकम डेवलप्ड नेशन इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन वेलकम टू द विकसित वार टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन एंड नाउ वी आर इन एपिसोड एट लाइक लास्ट सेवन एपिसोड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट मल्टीपल फैक्टर्स हाउ इंडिया विल बिकम हाउ इंडिया विल बिकम विकसित वार टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन we are in the process to understand how this modern concept of nation and a state has emerged from very ancient human civilization and already we know we can take lump sum 6000 years of last history when 4000 bc around mesopotamian civilization started to flourish and after immediately you can say within few hundred years egyptian civilization happened and then indus valley then yellow river civilization and now we are in 2000 ad almost completed then 4000 bc to 2000 ad almost 6000 years how human has developed a step by step in these four area these four will be our one of the parameter to understand in culturally how it is developed from last 6000 years politically economically and socially miss development you can say parameter of development will depends on all these factors only generally any country we are telling developed or country is very good or culturally very rich or socially very systematic or politically very very commanding condition all these will the factor to designate any of the country in which rank it is holding in every aspect like we are telling hrd ranking which country is having which which rank like in the in the in the name of sex ratio in the name of corruption in the name of uh, fertility rate all these are coming one of the social indicator indicator apart from these many of the indicators are there many of the studies are there which will give the idea which nation is growing growing towards a better way or which nation is taking care their human resources or human capital in better way because earlier we used to tell human as a resources but now people have started to tell and especially i am telling human as a capital it is not like a resources which you will use and throw human as a capital you invest it it will grow faster and faster okay then this episode we will just focus on indus valley civilization during our journey viksit bharat 2047 episode 8 and we are discussing now about the surakshit bharat and in during surakshit vara discussion we are taking reference from all ancient civilization to modern nation and we are in the process to that understanding how it was happened when nile river flooding was happened that time people were so happy today ganga brahmaputra river are get, getting flood then people become so panic that time it was a festival when nile river was getting flood five days holidays are still egypt egypt are uh, following that one if nile river was getting flood then all surrounding surrounding land would, would get increased by the flood increased and it will become more fertile and productivity of the soil will increase it is not only valid for nile river it is valid for all the good river where development happened but just suppose how much changes happen in our understanding or our uh, our intake of the same event like that time flood was there then people used to used to celebrate now flood is there we are becoming panic why because we encroached all the area where river could flow freely to give you better agriculture product but now we are not focused about only agriculture now life is become so complicated like civilization is having one of the indicator for 
measurement how much your society is complex you are more civilized to do a small thing if you have to become very complex you have to do you have to cross from very complex activity to achieve a small thing you can say you are very civilized means we are going toward the better civilization and we are making our life more complex it is more complex more complicated more number of ways we can achieve simple target earlier time it was not complex it was very simple life how to get the food get the food life is over after getting the food secure your basic thing how to get the shelter if you are getting shelter and food if you have extra food sell somewhere you get some uh, some extra or some through barter system whatever your need is there you will get it your life is secure life was so simple everything you are doing directly and nothing was there but now to do one activity multiple factors are there even to get the food also it's not easy you have to cross multiple channels multiple channels direct from farmer if it is food is reaching to you in between maybe it has crossed to 20 channels then it is reaching to you then life is becoming complex one civilization will be flourished people will become more civilized things will become more complex and our main focus will be there during our viksit vara 2047 we will take again reference of this indus valley civilization this episode just i will highlight you like mesopotamian and egyptian civilization i will highlight the main point or contributions of indus valley civilization but afterwards again i will i will come back and i will reference take the reference of indus valley civilization and will take away further because our main target is to make Viksit Bharat. We are taking reference of other ancient and civilization to make it better and better. How we can generate better idea to make it Viksit Bharat 2047 in much impacting way. Correct? It should be. It should be very effective. It should be very concrete. It's no. It should be sustainable. It is not like a developed Bharat happen and within five years again fall down. It should be sustainable. To get all these factors, we are going through reference for all ancient civilization. But Indus Valley civilization, we can say our mother of civilization for Indian aspect. Then we have to go further and further to understand in better and better. Just we'll try to move further. First, we'll try to understand location of Indus River and IVC. IVC in short we can say Indus Valley Civilization. Indus River is if just suppose India was united or undivided India the Indus would be longest river correct. Indus is the longest river in Indian subcontinent. If India would be united means India Pakistan both would be united. But divided India Indus is not longest. Ganga is the longest and uh, Brahmaputra is again part of the Brahmaputra only coming, major part is coming to the China. That also we'll discuss about the length of the rivers. But first we'll try to understand why that land, this fertile land is called Punjab. Why this fertile land is called Punjab. Main region is this area, this Panjnad. Panjnad. Panjnad is combination of five subsidiaries of the Indus River. And this was the year. I will tell you how this concept is there. Very simple way. If same thing will teach you some geographic teacher, then you will make so complex. And same thing, I will make it simple. Because I think as a teacher, as a trainer, as a content creator, my first role is there. Makes things simple. Then I will make you very simple. It is your Bias River and it is your Satluj River. Bias and Satluj, Satluj River will combine and will make one single river that is Satluj river or we can say Bias river is a subsidiary of Satluj. Jhelum river, Ravi river and Jhelum river and Ravi river and Chenav river these three combined will make the Chenav. Means finally out of these five Satluj and Chenav has become two main river. Finally Satluj and Chenav will merge and will make Panjnad river. That is I indicated by P. It is here. Panjnad river will go almost 100 km. I think so. Around. And finally it will merge into Indus river. Correct. Then this is, uh, this is our way of flow of these five rivers. In mainly Punjab area and Sindh area. And you can say Sindh area is not only coming in Pakistan. Part of the Sindh area is going to Pakistan. Part is in Gujarat. 
part of punjab has gone to pakistan part of punjab is in india due to this ivc civilization we can't say it is only indian civilization as of now when we can say it divided india then it is a india plus pakistan most of the famous place like uh, harappa and mohenjo-daro like as of now it is in pakistan india also having many of the places which are uh, linked to that and indian valley indus valley civilization was one of the peculiarity it was not having dynasty system you you might be not observed during the studies of your history or understanding of this ancient events there no dynasty system was there we are not getting any symptoms during indian valley civilization any of the king was there he was suppressing the public and he was ruling he enslaved the people and it was we have not got any symptoms like that only priest we got the role of the priest and priest whatever they used to used to control the society that was just still under investigation but not but it was not dynasty rule first thing second peculiarity was that it was not only concentrated for one or two center total 1096 big and small centers we found which are spread over the modern pakistan after a part of afghanistan india india side you can say like part of rajasthan part of bihar and part of your uh, gujarat also then we can say it was the one of the largest civilization which spread at very large area other civilization you will look like mesopotamia and these all it was a spread was very less it was not a spreaded much but it was very spread this will try to understand little more about this indus river and these all longest river in undivided india total is 3200 kilometer if india would be undivided then indus must be it is uh, you can say longest river Indus is a Himalayan river with Ganga and Brahmaputra. Indian river system is having classification of two type. One is your Himalayan river, another is your peninsular river. Himalayan river mainly is coming, your Ganga and its subsidi subsidiaries like a Ganga, uh, Ganga, Yamuna, Brahmaputra, uh, uh, Saraswati. And afterwards, second is your Indus and third is your Brahmaputra. It is all are coming through Himalayan glaciers due to it is categorization of Himalayan river. Second is your peninsula, other river which are not coming from Himalayan, like Narmada is there, Krishna, Kaveri, Godavari, etc. Just we'll try to look a little bit more. We will get li little extra information about the rivers, rivers in India. Like Ganga River is having highest length in India, 2525, and in any of the country as of now. Godavari again 1464. 146564 it is matter same krishna it is 1400 you will find uh, indus is here indus you will see in india then you will get sixth sixth position but total length you will look that it is a longest river means total length of river then indus is the longest but flowing in india it will come in sixth or ganga will be highest second highest is your Lengthwise Brahmaputra. If question is asking only based on the length of river, anyway, you are not preparing for now. This session is not for competitive exam, but just I am telling you, just suppose only based on the length of river, then it will come Indus river will be highest, then it will come Brahmaputra, then it will come Ganga. But flowing the part of the river in India, then highest will come Ganga because Ganga is only flowing in India. And afterwards, so next will come Indus, then Brahmaputra. Just will move forward a little bit more to understand more better these are the ivc's cities and towns here you will find big spread of cities like just suppose how this has started like it is started from here it is spreaded like this and almost it has gone like this let's see how much big area it is it is covered and it has gone to this side also so many cities famous city you can say harappa afterwards mohanjodaro Dholavira, Lothal, afterwards Mehargar, Mehargar one of the you can say biggest example and afterwards just to come to the other cities like Rakhigar, this is also one of the important place and afterwards uh, you can say many of the place are there, many of the place are there and most of the places which are we discovered it is under mature phase and it will be big surprising. Like I was Indian Valley civilization, Indus Valley civilization, no Indian was knowing. It is a, you can say, it was a 
God grace. When British was doing some railway job, they are, start, they are uh, doing some work between Lahore and Karachi. They used to put in a, like a, a, a rail track between, uh, between Lahore and Karachi. During that time, during that time, labor has founded something. It was obstructing their, uh, their digging, uh, digging things. And that time only, historians started to dig out and they stopped the work of uh, work of the railway and started to dig out excavation has done then they found it is older than magadh empire and older than vedic before that historian was having one of the one of the like conclusion before vedic civilization nothing was there in india then they shifted their timeline almost 2000 years be beyond the or before the vedic civilization means vedic civilization se pehle almost 2000 saal pehle इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन हुआ ये जब पूरा डिक्लाइन हो गया तो इंडस वैली देन वैदिक सिविलाइजेशन हुआ उसके बाद यू कैन से महाजनपद जनपद ये सब हुआ वो सब भी समझेंगे मगर ये घटना हुई ऑलमोस्ट 1856 में अभी 200 साल भी नहीं हुई है तो उसके पहले हमें खुद नहीं पता था कि हम लोग कितने ग्रेट हैं तो बहुत सारी चीज़ों में ब्रिटिश का बहुत सारा योगदान है और हमें हमेशा थैंक यू बोलना चाहिए उसे क्योंकि नए तरीके से कैसे पुराने चीज़ों को समझा जाए और पुरानी चीज़ों को फिर से नए पैमाने पे नए पैमाने पे तोला जाए इसमें ब्रिटिश की बहुत बड़ी भूमिका रही है भारत के लिए उसने हमारी बहुत सारी खूबियों को बहुत सारी बुराइयों को भी उजागर किया बहुत सारी खूबियों को भी उजागर किया और उन्होंने ही बताया कि दीज इंडियन पीपल हुम वी आर रूलिंग हुम वी आर टेलिंग ब्लडी इंडियंस वंस अपॉन अ टाइम दे आर वेरी डेवलप्ड दे ओनली टोल देर स्टेटमेंट इज देयर हुम वी आर टेलिंग लाइक ए ब्लडी इंडियंस these indians were once upon a time were very developed then this spread of the civilization out of all ancient civilization all six ancient civilization this was the highest thoda aur move karenge thoda aur samajhne ki koshish karenge little bit more in detail through map and what are the major centers where these all happen then we have we just keep remember major centers like what are lying in now pakistan हरप्पा मोहनजोदारो एंड गनेरी वाला दिस इज इन पाकिस्तान धोलावीरा कालीबंगन राखीगढ़ी रूपर एंड लोथल दिस इज इन इंडिया मोस्ट ऑफ द पार्ट्स इन गुजरात एंड आई थिंक वन पार्ट विल बी इन योर दिस राजस्थान देन दीज मेजर सिटी जस्ट ट्राई टू रिमेंबर एंड दिस स्प्रेड हाउ इट इज स्प्रेड इट लाइक इंडस इंडस रिवर इज इयर फर्स्ट इट हैज गोन लाइक दिस देन इज स्टार्ट टू कम साउथ वर्ड then it has gone further towards you can say confluence to the arabian sea and further it has gone like this then there a stretch was very high and it was not restriction that was no king no kingdom no dynasty like a uh, egyptian civilization they were controlling everything no no every people were equal and that was giving our first indication as indian our ancient civilization was democratic in process Ancient civilization was democratic in process, and after almost thousand years, Vaisali has proven also that was the first republic has given the message to the world: it is not, it is not ruled by force; it is ruled by the wish of the people. Then, this just will move forward. Just will try to understand little bit more about the timeline of IVC. Just lump sum. Again, we'll come back to this IVC because our. uh next understanding after uh, understanding all these ancient civilization we have to work on ibc and we have to take it forward towards a vedic civilization and then further and further timeline of ibc we can say pre harappan around 7000 to 5500 bc this is not much uh, you can say important area only thing you can say that time agriculture development started and domestication of plants and animals is started people have started to make the small small tools you can say like uh, stone tools in the job early harappan this was the one of the important phase when trade be established with egypt mesopotamia and possibly china also ports docks sand warehouses also built during that point of time then this early harappan phase you can say it was a very aggressive development 
no unknowingly it was not knowingly like uh, some government was ruling this one and they are well pulling the development no unknowingly people have gone very aggressive aggressive development aggressive uh, don't take negative aggressive development is very fast development like trade has established that much far from indus valley area going to egypt now also difficult if you are not going through air route if you are going through road route or maybe if you have the train facility also just suppose still going egypt and mesopotamia is difficult and that point of time people were going and even china also ports started to make docks started to make and they started to make the concept of small village because indus valley civilization was mainly you can say it, it was mainly focused on urban centers or you can say urbanization this is the only single civilization which has given indication indication for well developed urban system out of six ancient civilization not a single civilization is giving any concrete concrete symptoms about very good urban system but only indus valley civilization is giving all proofs all the symptoms about the very good urban development and good urban culture then basically indus valley civilization was urban in nature but they learned how to make a small small groups to live in villages also mature harappan phase almost 2800 bc to 1900 bc this time all cultural development happened or you can say a spreading of the a spreading of all civilization happened to various part of various part of uh, you can say basin of the indus or you can say part of your sindh area punjab area and further gujarat area modern gujarat basically it was sindh only part of part of sindh has gone to pakistan and afterwards so later upon 1900 to 1500 decline started how decline happened what are the reason that also will discuss and the wave of migration of one of the one of the theories there like three theories are there we'll discuss during almost last of this uh, this episode uh, Uh, what are the concrete reason is still not fully you can say historians are not in you can say uh, very much uh, coincided with thoughts but uh, they are having uh, some difference in opinions post harappan period like uh, 1500 to 600 bc the cities were started to abandoned why because agriculture was not happening and main reason as per geographical geography we are understanding that time some shifting happened during earth tilting earth is tilted at certain angle during rotation some shifting happened during tilting due to abrupt abruptly what happened this monsoon has shifted from harappan and this indus valley civilization whatever main area was there harappa and mohenjodaro in rain started to become very thin and thin and you can say very less then people are started to come down and that was giving one kind of link also people are started to come down to the ganga valley and that uh, monsoon has shifted little southwards from you can say uh, or from uh, from top or you can say from punjab area then it was shifting toward ganga valley and people have started to move near to ganga ganga valley and they started to make a small small villages in the form of clusters of the people or group of the people or based on the community or based on the trade or based on their you can say similar profession and afterward they again I started to do the agriculture and cultivation during this Ganga fertile belt, but they were not getting that much cultivation or that much agriculture product to maintain this Harappa, Mohenjo-daro big big cities. Because if city that area agriculture pro, agriculture activity was going down due to natural phenomena, then these all small small villages which I started to develop on the Ganga valley, they were not sufficient to maintain these cities. and slowly slowly all cities has become abandoned and people have moved south south in the sense that time south was you can say it was uh, not much beyond only south means only ganga valley then civilization had already fallen by the time when cyrus second the great invaded india in 530 bce thora aur move karenge just will try to match the timeline of indus valley with other civilization we already understood about mesopotamia egypt now we are going indus valley and next we'll go to the yellow river civilization that is your china civilization and see in these four and apart from these four two more are there inca and maya that also we'll understand just we'll try to move from bottom to top 
like this like this first mehargarh and you can say this neolithic area and afterwards mehargarh again second and third has come and after when all these cities are developed next has come complete or full fledged development of harappan city and late harappan when late harappan was there that time you can say in mesopotamia it was old babylonian rule and this side this rule was ruling and this side this rule was ruling this king was ruling but here no king was ruling if you see the china here also sang sang rule was there here babylonia rule was there here some middle kingdom was ruling in egypt egypt was divided in three parts old kingdom middle kingdom and new kingdom then when later upon was happening in indus valley civilization that time old babylonian empire was ruling and this side middle kingdom was ruling in egypt and this side swang or some some ruler is there who was ruling that now we'll try to understand bit more what was the basic characteristics like every civilization will have some characteristics like uh, you can say we will go to the egyptian civilization they have the characteristics of making the pyramids making the pyramids different type of pyramids a step pyramid great pyramid of giza and so many mysteries mummification making pyramid mummification these all are the characteristics of egyptian civilization usi prakar se indus valley civilization ke bhi kuch characteristics hai usko thoda samjhenge in compassed most of the modern day pakistan produced this barley and wheat okay it was a common everyone was producing that one only i think other food grain was not invented much used copper and then bronze and tools traded with places just far away like egypt developed a writing system this was also means whatever can be done and this just will try to look this is our great bath this was one of the place we got in mohan jodaro where uh, you can say uh, still we are using as a public bath it was a very big place it was uh, in the almost uh, in, almost in the middle of the cities whatever city developed where people you can say as a community and uh, in a group they can take the bath then uh, another here uh, characteristic was there which was there city was in lower side and upper side was citadel correct citadel was developed someone is telling it is a looks like buddhist stupa also but that time buddha was not there how we, it can be buddhist stupa then uh, it it was just you can say higher place just to keep uh, you can say more uh, just for protection point of view these are the seals we got which are having very intricate designs and that point of time making that much intricate design was not easy and many of the seals we got which indus valley civilization which were having that parallel time of mesopotamia and egypt based on that only we are concluding indus valley civilization was having good trade relation between mesopotamia egypt and even china also this after what pottery we got many of the things where uh, you can say polished semi polished color polished and afterwards askal sculptures metal metal sculpture and afterwards uh, you can say clay sculpture both we got very refined quality and too much you can say uh, too much intricate design which shows that point of time based on the very simple tools based on the simple availability of the tools and very limited availability of metals they were very expert to make all these things just will try to understand this is your lower town and this higher place is got citadel citadel you can say it is a for protection point of view where uh, priest and these all are very important things it will be here and lower side once you are coming common people used to stay in lower town only we got the idea about the common bath or public bath citadel is the core fortified area of a town or city it may be fortress castle or fortified center the term is a diminutive of city and thus means little city means little city in the city so called because it is smaller part of the city of which it is the defensive core mainly for make the make uh, make you protective afterwards this weight in measure that also weighing weighing system weighing system just you see these are ancient ancient uh, weighing system and weighing was the one of the achievement of the indus valley civilization weighing was not able to uh, weighing has not done that parallel time during egypt and uh, you can say mesopotamia in that much refined way 
weighing was one of the major invention whatever indus valley civilization is done. and then just see variety of tools for different different purpose itne tarah ke tool aur hame kahin nahi mile kitne angle pe metal ko cut kiya hua hai hammer hai fir uske baad aur bhi bahut sare tools specialized tools with great sharpness and afterwards with great uh, handle and everything like here some terminology also given ki how much may be ratio and these all will be defined and after what jewelry just to look how much intricate jewelry you got that much jewelry you can say from that point of time only indians or in, you can say people living in indian uh, subcontinent are very fond of jewelry just see how much intricate design we cannot understand this is again सी टाइटल थोड़ा और समझेंगे कैरेक्टरिस्टिक को बेस्ड ऑन द डिफरेंट इमेजेस दिस इज जस्ट सपोज दिस इज योर फोर टाइप ऑफ व्हील्स दे यूज टू मेक द सी दे वे यूजिंग हाफ व्हील ऑल्सो हाफ व्हील वेयर वी आर यूजिंग मेनली वी आर यूजिंग इन मैकेनिकल ट्रांसमिशन करेक्ट वेरी इंटरनल पार्ट वेन योर कंप्लीट रोटेशन नो नीड टू ट्रांसफर पार्ट ऑफ मोशन as a mechanical engineer i am telling no need to go in detail when part of your motion should be transferred from one channel to another channel or one part to another part or one section to another section then we are using it you can say half wheel or you can say part of the wheel this four type of wheel was used during indian valley uh, indus valley civilization and just see these all how much shining that much shining and various type of seals just to focus on that if we are getting time you put some uh, you can say magnifying glass and uh, try to understand whatever they are written uh, still people are historians are not able to understand all these whatever they have a script is there a script used in indus valley civilization is not fully deciphered by historians ab aage aate hain ki kya invention kya raha major top 10 agar hum aise count karenge to बहुत सारे इन्वेंशन हो जाएंगे और उतने इन्वेंशन हमें जानना भी नहीं वी आर नॉट गोइंग इन लाइक ए पीएचडी इन हिस्ट्री और वी आर नॉट गोइंग इन लाइक ए प्योर हिस्ट्री क्लास जस्ट वी आर टेकिंग द रेफरेंस बिकॉज वी हैव टू डिस्कस मेनली फॉर मॉडर्न भारत और विकसित भारत जस्ट वी आर टेकिंग द रेफरेंस टू गेट यू आइडिया टू गेट यू कनेक्टेड वाट वी वा वाट वी वेयर वाट वी आर एंड वाट वी वॉन्ट टू बिकम मीन्स पास्ट प्रजेंट एंड फ्यूचर हाउ इट्स विल बी सीमलेसली कनेक्टेड based on the events development and our understanding of the event. top 10 inventions of indus valley civilization ornamental buttons they used to make buttons like buttons very simple thing but very you can say ornamental means very complicated designs very small or you can say very complicated designs and they used to make that was the one of them invention step wheels step wheels like earlier wheels were making but problem was there if wheels you want to go inside for some reason either for cleaning purpose or something it was very difficult to go they made a step wheels you can go easily the invention of the ruler ruler means measurement you do i told weighing measurement all these india was very very developed that point of time all development has done all invention has done urban sanitation system this is a, one of the greatest achievement based on that you can say everywhere urban sanitation system are still we are following whatever they followed that point of time in between the street bottom side just below the below the road this uh, you can say uh, this your water is flowing whatever waste water was created by the city just still we are following this was the your sanitation system and afterwards well structured town planning all street was at 90 degree and it was measured properly afterwards city is having some common places city is having some common bath system means well structured town planning then indus valley civilization you can say it was the best urban civilization out of all out of all we can say it is the best urban innovation of seal and trade harappan script artifacts sign board shipyard these are shipyard is the concept given by india indus valley civilization only now just will come to the part which is you can say unavoidable that is the end of indus valley civilization how decline happened if anything is emerged one day it has to down this is the you can say cycle of cycle of time then indus valley civilization declined around 1800 bc due to climate change and migration this is most this is the you can say most you can say acceptable region 
the due to sudden climate change happen and people started to migrate from all major cities like Harappa, Mohanjad, Jodaro se log Ganga Valley mein jane lage, niche jane lage jiske karan dheere 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 ye city abandoned ho gaya aur sabhyata jo hai samapt ho gayi aur jo hamara trade relation tha sare Misr ke sath Misr matlab Egypt aur Mesopotamia ek sath aur modern Iraq ho gaya abhi ke samay mein modern Iraq jo hai wo tumhara Mesopotamia ho gaya aur इजिप्ट को हिंदी में मिस्र बोलते हैं मिस्र की सभ्यता द सिविलाइजेशन इवेंचुअली डिसअपियर्ड अलोंग विद द टू ग्रेट सिटीज मोहनजोदारो एंड हरप्पा 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 लेंड्स इट्स नेम टू द इंडस वैली पीपल बिकॉज इट इज अ सिविलाइजेशन फर्स्ट सिटी टू डिस्कवर्ड बाय द मॉडर्न आर्कियोलॉजिस्ट ड्यू टू हरप्पा इज द सिनोनिम्स ऑफ इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन आल्सो सेकंड थ्योरी पीपल यूज्ड टू टेल द आयन इनवेशन थ्योरी दैट इज 1800 to 1500 BC, but we are not getting any concrete support. If someone is invaded, then some war would happen, some fight would happen, something would happen. But we are not getting sufficient support or sufficient uh, ground or sufficient, uh, you can say, uh, things to prove it. Invasion happen. Then third again theory is there, the climate change theory. Climate change theory is told. like a collapse of urban society resulted from the climate change some expert believe that dying of the saraswati river this was the one of the main reason saraswati river started to dry and availability of water has become scarce and slowly slowly people started to move from another place and this happened due to tectonic event may diverted the ghaggar hakra river system towards Ganges plain due to some movement in you can say this uh, this earth tectile movement due to this happen and harappans may have migrated towards the ganges basin in the and that has given the finally the root or again for uh, you can say cause for the vedic civilization then i think as per acceptable this is the most acceptable theory like a climate change and due to te uh, tectonic movement of earth or tectile movement of earth sudden uh, sudden monsoon has changed rainfall has changed saraswati has died we can say these five regions six region we can just consolidate just uh, you can say drying out of saraswati river and afterwards uh, uh, ghagar hakra river system has diverted toward ganges basin monsoon has affected and level of rain has drastically reduced during old indus indus valley cities this third region fourth region due to people started to migrate towards the ganga basin and they started to make a small small villages they were unable to feed they were unable to provide enough support to all these big big cities due to city started to collapse fifth region we can say because the city were not getting trade because they were not getting agriculture surplus their trade relation is Uh, you can say cut off from other uh, other route or other uh, cities due to slowly slowly their economy and so uh, society both has started to go down and people have started to migrate toward migration and these five major reason we can say and uh, this overall they are telling due to uh, you can say earth tectile movement tectonic event happen and uh, these all event happen due to indus valley civilization almost gone down thank you thank you very much you listen very patiently and we understood about indus valley civilization again we'll come back to this topic and we will just continue forward after indus valley civilization vedic civilization and mahajanpada and our great empire and all the development and we'll come to the modern india and finally viksit bharat thank you thank you very much